Hey guys, welcome back to Cool Gadget Reviews and in this video I'm going to show you how to overclock your RAM uh, basically increase the RAM frequency so you get better performance out of your PC so first you need to go into your BIOS um, obviously the, I'm using um, B450F uh, Asus ROG Strix Gaming Motherboard uh, if you want to see videos of that I'll put them in the description box below so let's get started so I assume you all know how to get into your BIOS menu on your PC basically when your computer is about to boot up you just keep pressing the delete key or the F12 key and that's how you get into this BIOS menu right so first we're going to click on the AI tweaker menu at the top and you can see uh, my DRAM frequency is set at 2133 MHz so that's at the bottom level so what we want to do is try to get uh, 3200 megahertz which is uh, the highest speed frequency so click on um, you can see DOCP standard profile so what this profile does is sets your RAM frequency to the maximum it can go to uh, my Corsair RGB RAM is rated to 32 megahertz so that's what we are doing and also you can see down here the RAM voltage has increased as well and let's go back up so you don't need to change anything else the profile DOCP changes all the latency cast frequencies and all that for you um, a lot of hardcore overclockers do that themselves but I'm not one of them so anyway I'm going to click on save changes and reset guys so once you click on save changes and reset I will show you basically what the changes are so it's changing everything really the round frequency the latency the time the cast so all the settings are going to be changed and obviously this PC is going to boot up for a few times now don't worry about that rainbow screen uh, that's because of my capture card capturing there's no signal there because my PC is booting up and uh, it's going to boot up for a few times don't worry about that uh, it's not going to damage your PC or anything uh, it's going to boot up a few times and then so it's going to shut down and boot up a few times then you're going to see this screen you do not need to press delete or F12 because it will tell you that in a minute um, so there you go it's saying basically so it's saying that uh, the memory settings have been reset due to boot failure blah de blah but they're not uh, we just got to go back in press F1 and uh, let's go back into BIOS and now you don't need to change anything at all um, if we um, just go over to AI Tweaker and you can see our RAM is now set at 30 200 megahertz that's cool everything's cool so we just need to basically um, click on exit and save changes it's going to say nothing's changed um, but basically just click ok so just click ok and then should boot up we're in windows now and then i will show you on windows that we are set at 3200 megahertz ram speed so um so now it's booting up properly um, the windows boot up logo is there so that's working fine so uh, I'm going to show you in windows uh, let me just log into my PC so I'm going to show you on windows that our RAM frequency is now set to 3200 megahertz so go down to the task by the bottom task view uh, click on that and then go to task manager and then go to performance and then we are going to hit memory so once you hit memory and then you go towards the right bottom corner and you can see the speed it's at 3200 megahertz um, so that's what 
speed out RAM memory is running now the gameplay and the performance should be a bit more faster and I'm also going to show you um, what happens if your PC starts crashing because some PCs they don't kind of like this um, high RAM frequency or maybe uh, your RAM sticks could be uh, rubbish quality and they're making your PC crash so now I'm going to show you how to fix that so if your PC because I'm unstable uh, keeps crashing uh, this is what you need to do to make it work again so basically go into your BIOS menu again and then you need to click onto the AI tweaker and there's two things here you can do guys first you can basically lower your RAM frequency a little bit and then uh, click save and exit and save changes and reset or um, so you can play around with that and see where your PC is kind of stable um, and the other thing you can do is basically go back to standard settings just click on auto uh, go back to standard settings um, you know just to get your PC working again but it's trial and error guys a lot of different CPUs and RAM memory uh, you know kind of sometimes conflict with each other but for, for now my Ryzen 3 400 G uh, is working fine uh, at 3200 megahertz mem RAM memory speed so I've had no any issues at the moment but if I do I'll upload another video and uh, address that issue if my PC starts to become unstable but for now it's doing okay I will try and upload some more game footage and do some frame rates and all that so if you guys enjoyed this video uh, please leave this video a big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel please subscribe and make sure you browse my channel guys there's some other cool PC videos I put up on my channel uh, there's some in the description box as well you can view them and comment below guys let me know um, you know have you tried this or you know let's just uh, bounce some tips off each other in the comment section below so uh, as always guys thanks for watching